Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Mr. SKS Kill, and today I'm going to do a review on my Mod Gear Modular Operator Plate Carrier. My vest. Alright, this is my vest. It's a uh, Mod Gear Multicam Modular Operator Plate Carrier made by Condor. We have a pouch on the front that I added that does not come with the vest. I have five AR-15 slots and something else that does not come with it. These are all accessories on the vest. Two magazines. You can put whatever magazines you would like. These are all accessories onto the vest. It's decked out to my liking. You can do the same for yourself. This vest allows you to do so because it's got molly. Molly webbing throughout the vest. Um, I'm going to take the vest off and uh, review it a little bit and give you some specs on it. It unsnaps from the bottom and it carries plates by the way. If you don't know what a modular operator plate carrier is, it carries um, steel plates or ballistic plates that cover your vital organs from IEDs. Um, not really ideal for a rifle bullet to the chest but it'd be better than nothing. But um, it unsnaps from the bottom. Then it has Velcro, and may I add, it's very, very great Velcro. You pull up, then the side unstraps like that. It's got a hook on it right here to let undone. You can also tighten it. Now I'm 6'1, 155, so it fits anywhere from medium to extra large. On me, it's kind of large. I've got it as tight as it goes, but. I mean, it works. If you see any of my other videos that I have with the vest on, you can kind of see me running. It's kind of jiggling around on me. Usually I'm shirtless, but in the wintertime, it's great. Um, this other side comes undone as well with the same deal on the other side. Tighten up an elastic band. And I only use one side to get out of it. I keep the shoulder straps harnessed so I can have easy access to put it on. Unsnap, and I'm going to take my hat off, I'm going to slide it up over my head, and I'm going to come out from the side. Alright, I'm going to set the vest down and uh, read some specs for y'all. Get it uh, situated again, show y'all what it looks like. Man, yeah, this is just, it's, it's great material, great webbing, great stitching. I've had it for about a year now. I've used it multiple times at the range and in different operations. Um, some in harsh conditions. I've had to wash it before as well. All right. All right, I'm going to read some specs that I highlighted on the vest, but to let y'all get a closer view on it. I'm just gonna let y'all look around, see what it looks like. All right. The MOPC, MOPC standing for Modular Operator Plate Carrier, is a fully adjustable vest that carries your hard or soft armor plates. Um, like I said, it could be ballistic plates, steel plates, whatever, whatever you choose. The modular, the modular operator plate carrier is constructed with licensed cry precision multicam Hondura fabric. I do not know exactly what that is, but I do know it works. The front panel features loop material for ID patches, name tags, or morale patches, as the description on Cheaper Than Dirt. The 11 by 7 front pocket is secure, secured by hook and loop back up by a snap. What they're talking about is the front pouch that can carry a plate. It's secured by, you can't really see it, it's underneath the molly webbing. It has molly webbing on the front which I have these magazine pouches in, but it's um, secured down by the snap. Snap button and then you would open it up 
to undo it. And there's molly webbing on the inside as well. All right, and you've got the area where you'd put your plates, which you, to get a good idea, these are on here by Molly Snaps, this whole mag pouch, like I said. This wouldn't be on there whenever you buy it. You put your plate right in there, and if I believe the plate is, the plate that's gonna go in the front pouch is, Um, is a 10 by 13 inch plate. So in here you're gonna have a 10 by 13 inch plate, which I, which I do not have right now. I'm not operating in any environment that I would truly need it. I'm not overseas. I'm in America. Now, I, I will be working on getting them, but it's not a priority at the moment. Um, the sides, let me show you the sides. They have a six by eight inch area you can put plates as well. And remember, I said these unsnap. I mean, this bag keeps everything nice and snug. Like, everything's perfect. Fits great. All right. On to the innards of the bag. This is your area that will fit. It can also be used as a pocket for secret squirrel stuff. But uh, it's a side pocket. On the inner side, for your 6x8 ballistics plate, steel plate, whatever you choose to protect your vital organs from a side explosion, shrapnel, whatnot, it's got them on both sides. Great Velcro that's going to lock down perfectly. All right. Shut it back up. Snap it together show y'all how much this bag can fit in it with all the accessories that I have on it. And these are just like the ones that I had when I was in the military. Like, I mean, these plate carriers, pretty much the exact same they offered us. Um, they're great. All right, accessories. This is what yours could look like as well with a little bit extra money. This one, I'm going to go ahead and mention that this one itself runs a little bit more because it's the multicam. The multicam is going to run you right around, I believe, 99 now. I paid 89 on Cheaper Than Dirt. But all these little extra add-ons, these bags, the Molly bags that are multicam, are going to run you a little bit more as well. You, you can just order them whenever you please. You don't have to get them all at one time. Um, another thing about the straps, these are adjustable on the top shoulder straps. You can loosen them, tighten them. They've got padded, padded leather on the bottom, pads that go on your shoulders. I mean, this bag weighs right around 35 pounds right now without the plates, just because I've got a bunch of extra stuff on there. But um, yeah, I'm trying not to get off topic and scatterbrained here, but uh, yeah. So um, come check it out. It's got uh, what I've got on here. The front pouch, I have two Glock magazines. All right, and that's separate from the AR-5, AR mag pouch that holds five magazines. I added this on to the front of the mag pouches, which are Molly as well. I want to keep everything multi-cam. All right, go to it, I have some P mags. And the mags are held in place whenever you're running by these elastic straps. They're great, and they're also easy to slip off. Just put them to either side, pull your mag out. Now I've still got the covers on some of these mag pull mags, so it's a little bit more difficult to pull them out, but I'm gonna leave these in here just to, well. Yeah, don't, don't leave the covers on if you're really gonna go out there and operate or at the range because it's just going to either pull them off or whatnot, but I leave them on. All right. Um, and here, this is another little compartment. I've got some sockets. I've got a little Leatherman. And nothing else in there. Inside of it, I've got a little SanDisk card filming. 
Just got some different varieties of ammo, 45, 40, S and W. I've got a couple punches that I might need. A band-aid. Uh, some Allen wrenches. Just some random stuff. Uh, more more rounds. 7.62223556. A couple cleaning instruments. That's just giving you an idea. You don't have to have it like this. And this is for no specific reason except my own personal preference. Um, and just showing you what I would carry. Or I do carry just at the range. I and mean, once again, this isn't an uh, end of the world, life or death situation. This is just for now. All right, and this side, got my prescription. You know, gotta have uh, Mr. SKS, <laughs> Mr. SKS Kills prescription. Um, yeah, I mean, you never know whenever you need them. I take them whenever shit's really hitting the fan. But um, yeah. Anyway, um, got a little fire starter, sparker, flint, screwdriver, uh, book. Got some pins, just a couple random things. Once again, it's great. Everything snaps, zips. Same zipper deal with um, the Condor as the Voodoo almost. Um, up here the bag has Velcro underneath. This is what's going to come on yours. But I have extra add-on, which is three more mag pouches along with these three. You can put mags in. This is, these are actually 40, these are G22 40 S&W magazines, which hold 15 rounds, so they're kind of large. The straps don't really, they barely go over them, but they do. They go over them. This is a um, G23 mag, 13 rounds. Fits a little bit better. But um, this is also another add on. It's um, I housed my flashlight in it, Surefire G2. Gotta always have a light. Um, to bring you off the side, this is the sides of the bag on the outer spot. Once I showed you this pat, I showed you this pouch already, but molly everywhere. Everywhere that you can possibly fit something, there's either molly or velcro on this. So there's many options you can add. I mean, they got molly on the outside of the pouches. It's ridiculous. It's great, though. Um, and here, in this pouch, I've got just a couple speed loaders. Um, 7.62223. And you could have a stripper clip. Another stripper clip. Most of the got rounds. Um, as well as you can carry your boar snake in there. Um, oh, I mean, you got all that protection. You got, I mean, you got to have every type of protection. Now you got to, as well, you know, you can carry everything in here. And you always got to stay protected in every aspect, you know. You don't know what you're going to get into, and you don't want to get into a hairy situation. So, I mean, it's just amazing what this vest can hold. Um, protects you in many different scenarios and situations. But uh, yeah, onto the back of the vest. Has another area that you can add patches and whatnot. Um, which the Velcro itself that you can add the patches to is Molly. That's another great feature. You can get up all up in there and add stuff to it as well, like I did on the front. The mag pouches, it's going through the Velcro. I've got a uh, American flag, don't tread on me. Two big things that I uh, enjoy. Molly all on the back. You can add stuff to it, but not. Once again, you can add a plate to the back to protect your vital organs from the back side. And do it like this. And the plate's gonna come in from the bottom. Just to get a better idea undo it and the flap is actually going to go into the inner part of the vest which there's velcro and you'll be putting the i believe it's 10 inch by 13 inch steel plate ballistic plate once again it velcros back over you've got your normal back also i'd like to show you that there's another big thing that i like is this extra stitched handle right here on the back of your vest you're down, if you're shot in the leg, I don't know what, can't walk, 
your buddy's next to you, he can grab you by this and drag you. And you can still remain able to get at it while he's dragging you and engage on somebody or something. But um, whatever's pinning you down or whatever took your legs off, your buddy will be able to drag you out the shit. Um, other than that, I mean, it's easy to put on. You know, if you're lazy and you don't tie your shoes, this vest can be the same way. Just, like I said, undo it. I only do undo one side, and I usually keep it unsnapped. So, say if something happened really fast, I have everything ready on the vest that I would need for my rifle and my primary, or my primary and my secondary, already on the vest to reload with. All I do is slip it on, snap it in place, slip it over, and flop, and I'm ready. And I can go outside and see who's making the noise on my car, or anything else. I mean, you really can't beat it. Um, it's a great investment to have. I believe every American should have one along with anybody from else from any other country. I mean, everybody should have one. You really can't beat it. Um, truly though, you can't beat anything. Modular plate carrier, Mod Gear makes it. Mod Gear is made by Condor Outdoor P Products. Um, they're not paying me to review this, I just did. Because it's what I have and what I like. Um, I'm just showing you another option. So. Uh, Thank you very much and stay protected.